Greetings everyone, we will continue our discussion on information retrieval systems. So in the previous session we have started about what are the various structures used to convert your or your construct your uh, inverted files. In this session we will move on about that particular thing about construction of your inverted files using various data structures. Along with that we will be looking at uh, how to construct an inverted file by using your sorted arrays. So in this session we will be basically looking at what are the structures which will be used to implement your inverted files and how you are going to build an inverted file by using your sorted arrays. In the previous session we have started the structures to implement the inverted files. So we will be using the basic four structures that is we will be using the sorted arrays to implement the B trees, the tries and the hashing structures. The hashing structures are not used efficiently that is why we will not be covering this thing here. We will be covering only the first three parts that is the sorted arrays, B trees and tries. In the previous session we have told about, we have discussed about your sorted arrays and B trees that is how you will be having your uh, inverted files in sorted arrays and how you will be having inverted files in B trees. What are the advantages of your sorted array and what is the advantages of implementation of your inverted file using B trees. So if you have remembered properly, we will be constructing our uh, particular inverted file by using sorted arrays in this manner where you will be having your set of keywords placed in a sorted order and we will be having your processing files, for that one we will be having documents file. So this particular construction that is how you are going to construct your particular inverted file using sorted arrays we will be seeing in the next part. For the time being know that we will be con constructing your inverted file by using sorted array. I told you what are the advantages and disadvantages of implementation of your inverted file by using sorted array. So as I told you, the sorted array will be much easier to implement compared to other data structures. But the problem is, whatever the updations you want to perform, those updations will be much costly compared to other data structures. So if I want to delete anything, that is if I want to add any particular keyword or anything into the particular index file, it will be much complex compared to other things. Okay. In sorted arrays, it will be used, we will be using your sorted arrays in your inverted files whenever you want to implement an inverted file which is having less churn, that is less modifications and will be having a fixed set of keywords. Okay. In such scenarios, we will be using your sorted arrays and the disadvantage I told you, the disadvantage is updations to this index file. If I want to make too many updations in the index file, it will be a costly thing for your sorted arrays. So to avoid the advantages, so to avoid the disadvantages of your sorted arrays, we will be using your B trees to implement particular inverted file. So in this we will be storing your particular keywords in the form of, in the particular keywords will be stored at the leaf nodes where we will be having the connections to the postings file to there. Okay, we will be having the B tree structure to implement your inverted file. The advantages of your B tree will be, they will be easy to update, but the disadvantage is, if you are having too many words with same prefixes, the implementation will be somewhat tough. So all these things we have seen in the last session. So in this session we will be going for the next part that is uh, the third data structure which will be used to implement your inverted file that is tries. Okay. One particular thing that is you will be using your inverted that is uh, tries to implement this thing. I already told you about tries during the data structures in your information retrieval systems in the first unit itself. So during that time I told you what is a try, how you will be having tries. So we will be using the same try structure to implement your inverted file. So this structure uses basically the digital decomposition of your set of keywords. Whatever keywords you are having, all those keywords can be divided into types that is they will be divided digitally that is each and every character will be divided and if there are similar prefixes in the keywords we will be storing it at one key, one particular node in the try. I think I told you about how to implement this try structure. I will be showing the example of the try structure. But we will not be looking at how to implement the try structure and uh, this thing in this particular session. We will be just knowing that we will be in implementing your inverted file by using your tries as well. So one special try structure that is patries are trees. 
this battery cell trees we will be learning about in the next unit that is in third unit we will be learning about battery cell trees okay at that time you will know how to implement better this particular inverted files okay so for the time being know that we will be using the trice so this is an example of a try how you are going to implement your trice so if you have seen properly this particular try is hello label indicates the position in the text so each label that is whatever the leaf nodes you have each and every leaf node represent the position of a particular text for example if you take five so from the five position we will be having that is 0 1 0 1 that is if you take this particular text we will have to count the position that is 1 2 3 4 5 so from the fifth position we will be having 0 1 0 text so in this manner your keywords can be represented as a try here so that your searching will be easy okay where your position of your keyword is present you can find out much easier in tries so we will be learning about this implementation of your inverted file as patrisa trees that is one special try that is patrisa trees those patrisa trees will be seen in the next session but for the time being know that these tries are also used to implement your inverted files so your inverted files will be implemented by using sorted arrays b trees and tries apart from that one we will be using the hashing techniques but hashing technique is much complex so that is why we will be using just the three so we will be learning about how to implement the sorted array that is how you are going to build your inverted file by using your sorted array we will be seeing in the next part in this part we have just seen what are the structures which which will be implementing your inverted files so the next part you are seeing as a part of this session is how to build your inverted file by using your sorted arrays so so this is how to implement the thing so far you have seen what are the structures and what is an inverted file from now on we will be seeing how to implement it that is how your uh, inverted file is constructed so the production of a sorted array inverted file can be divided into two or three steps the first step the input text must be passed into a list of words along with their locations in the text okay so basically what you are going to do in any information retrieval system you are going to get your documents okay each document will be having text each document will be having text so this text as a first step it has to be parsed so what is parsing means you are going to basically read each and every letter in the particular text so what is the uh, what is the text present in the particular file so what are the words present in the file so we are going to read each and every text that is you are going to read letter by letter and you are going to identify one word that is those words will be treated as either keyword or not so you are going to basically read each and everything that is present in the document this reading of each and everything present in the document will be calling it as parsing okay this parsing is can be done by any machine okay so basically i told you about finite automata so finite automata also will be used to do this thing whether the particular uh, word is a valid word or not will be using that particular finite automata to validate your words but for the time being you need to know that whatever the text that is present in your document all the particular text has to be read okay and we have to parse it and parsing means you have to separate each and everything into set of identifiable words okay so the input text must be parsed into a list of words along with their location in the text so in the text what is the location so for example in this particular text whatever you have you, you see in this particular file in this particular text if you take the word production so production is one word which is passed so we will be having production word so production word is present as 1 2 3 4 5 6th position okay as a 6th word so like this each and every word has to be passed and each and every word location also has to be noted so in this particular document you might be having more than one word that is 
more than repeated words also will be present that is will be having production production word that is will be having inverted inverted so inverted is present here inverted is present here so we have to note down inverted so it is present as third word here again inverted it is present as 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it is present as 10th word so you have to basically parsing means you have to take down each and every word and note down the location of the words that first step will be calling it as parsing so the second step this list must then be inverted so what is me meaning of inverted is if you take the words they will be present in some random order so the inverted file means you are going to store it in one sorted order so so uh, according to the lexicographical sorts okay we will be basically sorting each and every word along with its location okay so this list must be then inverted that is from a list of terms in location order so they will be present in location order that is inverted uh, location 3 production location 6 inverted location 10 they will be usually present in a location order usually at the start so from the location order you are going to get the list of terms ordered for use in searching so how you are going to basically search based upon the search we are going to store your particular keyword values so that we will be calling it as inversion here so the first part first step you will be calling it as parsing the second step will be calling it as inversion the inversion step will be basically take your particular uh, keywords present according to the location order you take those words and convert them into a sorted order with which you'll be searching okay so that we'll be calling it as the second step okay use for searching sorting it into alphabetical order with a list of all locations associated with each term that is we'll be having all the particular words along with its location but now they will be sorted according to the alphabetical order of your keywords okay that you will be calling it as inversion so the third step we have is an optional step that involves post processing that is once after processing that uh, inverted file once getting that inverted file we are going to do some post processing such as adding term weights or for reorganizing or compressing the files okay all these three things are optional that is whatever you do after the inversion step all those things are optional based upon your particular information retrieval system requirements you can be adding these steps that is you can add the term weights that is what are the term and how much weightage you can give to the term which are important so for example this particular document will be having more importance to inverted word so we can give more weightage to inverted word okay like that that is inverted will, will be present more number of times at that time i can have more frequency for that particular inverted word so like this we can be giving inverted words we can be reorganizing based upon your search we might be wanting some words in the first place itself why because we'll be getting more searches for that particular words so we might be reorganizing the keywords also or you can be compressing the files to reduce your size of your particular inverted these are the three steps which will be using to convert or construct your inverted file by using your sorted array so you remember you are going to implement all these things using your sorted array only okay you are not concerned about your b trees and trees will be just concerned about how you are going to implement this thing in your sorted array so these are the three steps the first step is your uh, parsing part the second step is the inversion part the third step is your post processing part where you can add the term frequencies or you can add the weights like that. so we'll be seeing this with an example so this is a outline of your particular building of your inverted file so first you are going to take the text you are going to take the text and you are going to perform the first step that is parsing so once if you parse we will be getting a list of list of words along with the locations okay so next we are going to sort according to your alphabetical order okay this will be location order so whatever you get at the initial step will be getting the location order file 
then we are going to sort and we'll be getting the alphabetical order file okay this step we'll be calling it as inversion so this will be calling it as parsing this will be calling it as inversion where we'll be getting the alphabetical order and the optional step okay where we'll be adding weights or frequency or we can compress this particular file this we can be calling it as post processing okay this is an outline of your building of an inverted file by using sorted array so this implementation can be done by using your arrays directly okay so this thing you can see in more depth using an example so the first step whatever you have the parsing so we'll be seeing the steps one by one so what is parsing creating the initial word list requires several different operations that is you have to create the initial word list i think you remember the initial word list will contain so we'll be having set of keywords and their locations this will be calling it as the initial keywords so first the initial words must be recognized from the text so the first operation you have to perform is you should be able to recognize the text present in your document so that is one processing you have to do so that can be done by some text identifiers okay next each word is then checked against a stop list so if you are identifying one word okay so that word should be checked against your stop list so if the particular word is present in the stop list okay you should not be making it as a keyword you should be ignoring so each word is then checked against a stop list of common words and if can be considered as a non common word may be passed through stemming algorithm so whatever the word you are going to identify so first step you have to do is you have to pass it through your list of or you have to compare it with your stop list if the particular word is present in the stop list you should not be considering it for indexing that is you should not be storing it as a keyword here next once after it is not present in the stop list the next thing you have to do is you have to find out the stems okay you have to do the stemming process you will be learning about the stemming later i think you remember what is stemming okay so where similar words will be stored as one particular stem okay stemming stem stemmer like this will be stored as stem here okay so all those stemming words will be stored as one keyword here okay so we'll be going through this thing to create your initial word list the resultant stem is then recorded in the word within location list okay whatever the resultant stem so i told you so this will be your words that is engineering engineer engineer these will be three words present in your document all will be stored as one stem okay they will be stored as only one stem that is in your in your document as keyword and location okay they will be stored as only engineer okay engineer present at fourth location engineer present at fifth location engineer present at sixth location okay the fourth location might be engineering the fifth location might be engineer sixth location might be engineer but we will be storing only one keyword that is engineer okay so on those particular locations four five six locations okay they might be present in any part of your document but you will be storing only the stem word okay so this is the first step you have to perform while whatever the parsing part you have to do so while parsing you have to basically take the text okay identify the text identify the words present in the text okay if the word is present not present in the stop list okay make it through a stemming algorithm once after making it through the stemming algorithm you are going to store it as a keyword and along with its location present in the document so this is the first part of your pre processing or your parsing the second part that is so this is an example for your uh, step 1 so we'll be having your set of words and their document numbers if you see here you are just storing the document numbers so that is pap present in document number 1 report is present in document number 1 record number 1 record number that is document okay or you can store the location specific word location also 
but for the time being know that if there is a particular word present we are just specifying the record so pap present in record number 1 record number 1 means document 1 so report present in document 1 report present in document 2 as you can see you can be having the repeated few words here that is report is present in document 1 report is present in document 2 in the similar manner each and every word will be taken like this so how to take the words along with its documents okay next this is the step 1 so next coming to the step 2 whatever the resultant word list resulting from the passing operation okay typically stored in the disk file is then inverted inverted as i told you inversion means about alphabetical sort so this is usually done by sorting on the word so sorting on the word means whatever the typical words you have keywords okay will be having the keywords and location you are going to sort this particular thing based upon your word locations okay so in uh, your previous step in the step 1 it will be sorted according to the locations in the second step we are going to sort according to your words here okay next with with the use of high speed sorting utilities this particular top particular step will be easy but whenever you are looking at large document sizes even this step will be very complex okay it will be very time consuming to sort all those set of values okay next so as a part of this step 2 one way to handle this problem that is whenever you are dealing large set of values okay how to be sorting all the set of values in order to deal with this we can break down the particular list into parts and sort them separately i think you can remember the merge sort how you will be doing in the similar manner you can break down a large document into parts and sort each and every part separately and merge them so that is one way to handle this thing after sorting the duplicates are merged to produce within the document frequency statistics okay once after sorting after sorting this particular thing within the document sorry that is if you are having only one word in a particular document you will not be having any issue if you are having multiple words in the same document that is if you are having repetitive words in the same document then you have to have this within document frequency statistics that is within a particular document how many times the word is present that is if i am taking this particular document this inverted word will be present in most of the times so you have to space the word and how many times that particular word is present that is frequency statistics so within the document will be merged okay so if the word is present to in two different document then it will not be merged if the word is present in the same document then it will be merged with more than one frequency we will be seeing with an example so this is the first step we have done so this first step is uh, passing the next step is your inversion part so in the inversion part so as you could see this particular thing will be present according to the record number one that is this will be sorted according to your particular records that is it is present in document one document two document three so this will be present according to your records next while inversion part you are going to basically sort all these words that is you are going to go for sorted order like this that is you will be starting with a and we are going to end with z so you will be start sorting the particular words based upon your alphabetical order and once after sorting as you could see there will be words which are present more than once that is the technic word is present in the document one twice okay the report word as you could see it is present in document two once and document one once okay so we will be having the words the next step would be to merge these things that is whatever the sorted list you get the particular word is present in the same document then you are going to add the frequency that is the technique is present in document one twice that is how you can add the frequency term frequency to your particular words so this particular step is parsing this particular step is inversion where you are going to sort your words based upon your alphabetical order and the third step as i told you it is about removing your duplicates so as i told you this technique is present two times in the document one so now we are going to store it as like this technique 
present in document one twice. Okay, but if you take this particular document that is a report. So if you see report, report is present in document one and document two. Here we will not be merging this particular thing. That is report is present in document one once. Report is present in document two once. We will not be merging different document words. Okay. In this step, whatever you are doing, you are going to just the remove the duplicates which are present in the same document. That is how you will be performing this step. So these three steps. That is, the first step is about parsing. The second step is about sorting. The third step is about removing the duplicates within the document. Okay. So this is about the third step. Note that although only record numbers are shown as locations in the figure, typically inverted files store field locations and possibly even word locations. So as an example, I have shown you. So they are they are storing only the document numbers, but inverted files can store the particular word locations also within the document. That is how they will be working. So we will be more improving upon this particular construction of your inverted file using. We were sorted list more. That is, we'll be looking at step three and other parts in the next session. So, in this session, we have looked about what are the structures which will be used to implement your inverted files, and how you are going to implement your uh, inverted file by using sorted array. What are the steps you are having? That is, parsing, your inversion, and post processing of your inverted file. So, we'll be looking about post processing and other terms in the next session, and we'll close this session here. Thank you.